his place. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> What we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lenigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well.
Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... Naori. <sighs> that message just now, was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? What? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the Maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the Sovereign and Maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new Sovereign and Maiden. Knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the Thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her Thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... But still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well-placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Xion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. <laughs> Thank you, Naori.
So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No. The truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end, and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live... <sighs> a normal life. There are a lot of things you still want to do, right? Yeah. You're right. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead, and it's for my sake, so I can live. You're worth fighting for. I believe you, Alfin. Good. I'll keep on fighting, for as long as it takes, until our future is finally in our hands. Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. Her position demanded nothing less, from the sound of things. She didn't focus on differences, least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah, it was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenigus for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The one separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. Which basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way, showing us what we can aspire to.
That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place... It reminds me more of being back inside the Wedge. Except the Dan and Astral energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renin Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes? This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Still... This isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it, then? Hold up. Decadence? Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art fills isn't the stomach. It's the soul. In that case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut up! Alright. So I didn't realize this whole time that my mic wasn't on. So literally... Even though I probably did, I don't know how long the mic was off the whole time, so maybe that time when we were reading files, I probably didn't, you didn't hear me say shit, so, but that's fine. Other than that, it was mostly just story based, so I didn't really need to talk a lot of it, but it is interesting that, you know, this, it feels like a prophecy that Neori somehow brought upon from 300 years ago, and it's pretty much going on right now again, because... It kind of happened 300 years ago, and she knew that the Renis Almo could have helped stop her thorns or got, could have gotten rid of it. Because considering it was gone by then and Alfin wasn't there anymore because, you know, as a sovereign he wasn't there, she couldn't do anything, so she just sealed the powers away and um, took the burden of the thorns and pretty much passed it on to her descendants, and that's why Shion has it. Now, there's a whole glimmer of hope that she really could get her thorns get rid of, and that's great. I'm, I'm really, it's really cool that this outfit, we got this outfit for him, and she got hers. Literally, this picture is, like, godlike. I need this, without my, without my, like, stats or any, and this crap, I need this as a wallpaper. This looks so good. Like, I need this as a wallpaper. I love the fact that Shion and, and Alpha are just in the middle and then the whole group is together like this. I just think it looks great. Like it looks gen- it, this- this- the art- art and portrait is just really great. I'm just really enjoying it. So... So pretty much... Yeah, it's just a lot. Do I even need to? Well, I don't need this. So... Other than that, I guess I would just resave before a battle takes place. I'm assuming a battle has to happen right now. And and we'll see what happens after. Volron! He really was still alive. And there's the Renis Alma. Then 
Is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, so though. Something doesn't seem right here. Once more, the powers must be united. He's brainwashed himself. The world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine of the true sovereign. But what has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in a machine. Hey, look! Over there! Is she there? Isn't that the Maiden's Crest? Can it be that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. The Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <clears throat> Who is this woman? And they're transformed. What is this? Who the hell are they? It can't be. Are they even people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. Three of them. They're not feeling particularly confident. And that's a lot of HP. Fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Ignore it. Hell in the hurricane. Here's evil. Clutch. Inferno. Try this floor. I'll clear it. Clutch. Swallow blade. Clutch. 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 Why is Benwa already low? And she's already dead. Dragon's 
Okay, we gotta back up. Damn. What? Lord! did it okay and I was like okay are we gonna have to kill all three or just one count for all I'm not gonna know surrender fighting is useless now do you think it's really over it's not you know it's not astral energy watch out they've got something up their sleeve <coughs> What? It's self-destructed? Alvin! I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. So are we just able to take it, or...? Who said you could touch that? Oh god. Damn it! He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. <laughs> You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me... died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Is Volron Danon too? For you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart. And yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... 
A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right? But they decided Full to make run. him a lord. So he posed as a Renan and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? Renan and Dan have meaningless distinctions. He and everyone else. That is all that matters. I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. Yeah, Varan is like a literal nutcase. <laughs> and she's there. A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Okay, so she Don't is working it. under someone. And she took it away. Was gonna have Navarro online. <laughs> oh no, of course. for her life. <laughs> That's a big gap though. <laughs> Get closer. In the test subject files, it did state that he was his he was a mental stabi instability for, okay? uh, um, thing for him. Yeah. So that's why he's like this, regardless. Is Volron? Have we finally seen the last of him? We can but mm. hope. I was gonna say, nah, I don't think so. Those red women. What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renis Alma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. Okay. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Renan's or Danans. Yeah, not in a good way like with us. 
I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? human zoogle hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. How about you, Shion? Dohaling? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the Red Woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? Both sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma too, remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. get pitch dark all of a sudden the lights are all out think it has something to do with the explosion back in the forbidden zone do oh it's you two her. faria of akir thank goodness you're safe of akir filled me in about everything about how i ambushed you all she doesn't remember a thing so she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off just for one. Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer, and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Just talk like to people? by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Pointing to. Lenegas him? wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is. Ah. Yes, yeah, very you. well then. <laughs> oh. Avakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Okay. Uh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lanagus. It is I, Lord Dobelin Ilkaris of Elderman and Sia. Look up 
There! It's Lord Dohalim! Hold on! He should be in the crown contest! Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned, perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lanagus, not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among them. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know. A bright tomorrow awaits. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. Yeah, try to figure this shit what out. What you said earlier, about the Sovereign possibly not even existing, was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie, built on nothing but falsehoods. But it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan's society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? Yeah, we got Dohalim right here. Our boy. Y you? You can't be serious. Make him the ruler of Lenigus right of now. <laughs> but once everything is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But how else do you propose to rule? By being like I'm not else? sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. Mm. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like... Oh, I don't know. Musical talent, for example. When I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. I feel like... Like, maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigus till you get back. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Eldamen and Sia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Men and Sia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be? after the second chance that I've been granted. From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart, 
Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. True enough. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're gonna have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. Of course, you got some. AG, perfect rating. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, that would have been nice to get, but I don't have Looks the like the people of Lenegas can rest easy. I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can share the credit here. You're legit not able to fast travel nowhere. That kind of sucks, right? <laughs> I'm just stuck here. Um, damn. In one sense, when all is said and done, perhaps I have been a slave this whole time too. You, a Renan lord. How do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values, resigned to being swept along without the resolve to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. A lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. I think I can relate. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life, and I didn't know what else I could do about it either. The ability to think for yourself and be your own master, that's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad, Zephyr, used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing so, he also taught me how to live. Even if it means stumbling along the way. If it's on a road of our own choosing, free of regret. Why, that's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way, so long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. I think I finally understand now. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. Mm. There's just so much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me? Zephyr would be proud. With you and Law. How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But, yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then. Just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? There we go. Okay. <sighs> Kisara? Anyone at home in there? Sorry, did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and... strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy, right? Must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. 
She's the Renoir's freaking right. mom. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first <laughs> shaking and nervous flight from the nest. A pretty big child. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. Another time.